Hi everyone, Scott Smith at Rusnak BMW in cloudy Southern California today, but I did not want to miss the opportunity to show you guys this special edition M6. It's called the Competition Edition. BMW is producing a hundred of these for the United States and 120 worldwide. But as you can tell right now, this is a color that you shouldn't have seen an M6 Coupe in. This is the Austin Yellow Metallic from our smaller little brothers, the M3 and M4s. Um, and with BMW doing this really special edition, I think it's one thing kind of honoring or celebrating our M6 GT series. And one thing with this special edition is that you can get it in two colors. So you can see here, obviously we have it in the Austin Yellow Metallic today, but you can also uh, get it in the Alpine White with those true BMW M color uh, bodywork stripes. Um, so there is two additions to it that you can get. You know, us here at Rusnak, we love doing some amazing colors. So as soon as my ordering manager saw that this was available, we definitely jumped on it. Now, the one thing you'll notice later on, oh, one thing to mention, I got something pretty cool at the end of the video I want to show you downstairs. So if you guys can, hang out for a little bit. Also, if you're looking for a BMW, please send me an email, scottbmw at rusnackautogroup.com. Also, I've got a contact information in the About section of my channel here. But let's start off. Now, one thing with the Competition Edition is you're going to get almost everything from the factory in that package along with a lot of M performance items and also guys a half day race car driving instruction at either one of the performance centers that's also included with your M6. So first off with this edition as you can see we did the yellow paint it's got the exclusive yellow stitching inside I'll show you also we ordered it with the black 20 inch wheels and right off the bat check out those M compound ceramic brakes Great benefits to those is long service life. Uh, you know, they resistant to heat and just what an amazing brake system. So obviously even if you're not gonna track this car, these brakes will definitely stop you on a dime. So and it's got the signature gold color there with your M symbol. So let's go ahead and go to the front real quick. Now I'll walk through a lot of the uh, M performance accessories they included in this package. Now the full adaptive LED light package, or excuse me, the lights are standard now with the M6. Uh, the flickering there, guys, is just part of the filming with my camera here in my Galaxy Note 4. Also, it comes with the double ribbed black M6 kidney grills. That's part of that uh, compound uh, competition package. So you have that. Also, some other really neat colors. They also did you can see the black chrome there with the M6 Competition signature touch on the side. Got your carbon fiber mirror covers. Let's go ahead to the back. You've got your carbon fiber spoiler there. Also, we've got the carbon fiber tips here on our BMW Performance exhaust. And let's have Trish give us a little note here. <laughs> Awesome, awesome sound. I think this year, man, they've done some tweaks to that M performance exhaust. That thing is just amazing. Guys, I'm gonna take it downstairs and show you some stuff too in a little bit. There's your carbon fiber rear diffuser. So we've done all that good stuff on this car so far, but man, look at this color. I know we've got a little bit of clouds today, but still, this color looks like it's glowing. So I'm gonna have Trish pop the hood here. It's a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8, guys. Now, also included in the competition edition package is you're gonna get that competition package in there, um, which bumps the horsepower from a stock 560 to 600, and then also the torque goes from 500 to 516. <laughs> Just give it a little rev time underneath there, but look at that thing. Man, that thing is packed in there perfect. And look how far back that engine is too, guys, from the wheel well. So you can see from the wheelbase here, so you've got a really nice balance in this car too. Uh, now zero to 60, guys, is uh, 3.8 seconds. So not too bad for a car that weighs 4,250 pounds. And it's just over, uh, just 196 inches long. Um, just over 54 inches tall and just under 75 inches wide. 
So let's close this up. Also with that competition package that's included guys they have done some different software and more you know more a direct steering um, uh, suspension adjustment so it's not just the extra horsepower and those nice 20 inch wheels um, they've definitely done a lot more to the attitude of the vehicle and being in M there is a lot of customizing you can do on this car so what we're gonna do is let's go on I'm gonna go to this let's go to the trunk actually let's do that with Trisha hi Trish <laughs> How's it going? Great, this car is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorites. Alright, so we're going to open up the truck. Show you guys how much space is back here. Yeah, you've got um, total volume is about 16 cubic feet in here, guys. And the way it's, the way it's uh, you know, dimensions and everything are, you got about 13 feet for, uh, for luggage. So, also these do have the Michelin uh, tires on here, non-run non flats. So there's your gel pack for you in case you do get a, a tire in there and you lose some air. Definitely use that to seal it up and get somewhere where you can get the tire repaired. There's also your pass-through you can see there, guys. And here's that front license plate frame, which we don't put on unless the owner wants it drilled into the bumper. So obviously if the last thing you're doing is the trunk, you can lock the car, but also you just swing the trunk down give it a nice little tuck and then Trish let's go ahead and show them the back seat right. so if you guys are worried about the space we're gonna show you that there's plenty of room in the back All right. cool and Trish she's 5'9 without the heels so you're gonna just move the seat up with this here and that just moves up a little and bit pull this lever and that will give you plenty of space to jump in Okay, and I'm gonna slide this back, guys. As you can see, she's got pretty good space there. I'm gonna go around to the other side. All right, look at the shadow line exterior around the outside, guys. One great signature to this car is the black chrome. Also, the carbon fiber roof, nice signature. Drops that center of gravity a little bit. Oh, one thing to mention too, guys, they blacked out the handles here for that competition edition. So, just a nice little touch there. And there is that yellow stitching on the front seats. Let's go on and get to the back. We'll show Trish. Let's get this thing to slide forward for us. You can see her hiding back there. <laughs> okay, let's pull the handle up. Hey Trish. Hello. So it looks like you got some pretty good space back there. I do, yes. What we got going on back here? So the seats are really comfortable. It kind of gives you a bucket feel, so it really sucks the body into the seat, so it's very comfy. Uh, you can see the stitching is in the back as well. You have your M emblems up here, and a uh, seat here. Wait, can you see the middle of this? No, nah, just oh, two plus two right. being a traditional coupe. Right. But yeah, the really nice padding there for you. That is for the pass-through right there in the center. And then you got a really nice headliner, don't we, Trish? That's that Alcantara yes. suede-like material they have up there, so it's really soft. Obviously, no moonroof because of the carbon fiber. And then you got your signature Bang & Olsen uh, sound system here. It's 16 speakers and 1,200 watts of power coming out of that system. So really nice, and that's included in that package that we have with the competition edition. So cool, Trish. Yeah, it looks like they're very comfortable seats. Let me go around and help you out. Let's just slide this back a little bit. All right, guys. Let's get Trish out of the back seat, and we'll get her up, get her in the driver's seat, and we're gonna go have some fun. Cool, Trish. So Trish's gonna go around to the driver's side, guys. One thing I wanted to show you too is I'm gonna go over this sticker real quick, just while Trish is in there getting settled. Now, guys, the one thing we do have soft closed doors so you don't have to slam these over the time and let's go ahead and get on the sticker here all right guys here we go 2016 m6 coupe you can see that color there is included the exclusive stitching and there is your package now true i know it's a fifty-one thousand dollar package guys but i've sat down and added up all the stuff that you get with this and it is truly a lot of awesome stuff a lot of m performance accessories virtually everything from the factories included in there and you also get that half day of the performance driving center which has just got to be an awesome experience so and then you can see all the rest of the standard equipment that comes on an m6 in this M6 competition edition. 
So there's your dollar amount in US dollars. There's your mileage, 14 and 20 with an average of 16. And then also there's your original production location and product sources. Cool guys. All right, let's get inside. One thing that's really cool is when you open it up, you've got your M6 Competition Edition door seals. And they do glow at night, so it's a really nice touch, guys. And then also, you know, we have that carbon fiber that goes around the cabin. And then that exclusive yellow stitching really pops with this black interior, so. And remember, you're gonna get opal white stitching um, with the uh, Alpine white uh, paint job that you can pick on this car. Also, these seats are really adjustable. So you got a power leg extension there. Give your hamstring a little bit of support. Also, you've got the massaging feature, the active seats there, a little rolling action there for the lower part of the body. Memory, here's for the forward and back, and also adjusting it kind of as like a lazy boy effect, giving you more support, less pressure off the hips and lower back. And then here, you'll see, let's see that. See the shoulder moves forward and back. So more support for the upper back, that's this button. And this one does the back support, so bringing it forward, back, and then you've got your head adjustment there too. Also, these do fold out, guys, to cradle the head for long drives, a little bit neck support. Also, here's your width adjustment, which is right here for the sides, and your lumbar support. So that'll be the bladder here, inflate, deflate, and then up and down. So we got that seat all the way back. Let's jump in. All right. Don't have to slam the doors. Good size glove box, plenty of storage. But Trish, tell us a little bit about the cabin. All right, well, let's look at all of the carbon fiber. And you can see what they've done here is they've put this nice signature M6 competition emblem. That's nice. Very beautiful. And you can see, guys, it says one of 100. So they're all going to say one of 100. So they're not going to be individually numbered. But definitely you'll know you've only got one of 100 of these special edition cars. And what's nice too, guys, carbon fiber shift knob. So just a nice extra exclusive kind of touch over the standard M6, especially with all this extra carbon fiber that does come with the um, M series. What else we got, Trish? All right, so just when you think the M steering wheel uh, couldn't get any better, you have this Alcantara leather steering wheel on this edition. It's absolutely flawless, comfortable, beautiful. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, and guys, that's part of that edition package too. So this is an additional accessory. It can be ordered and purchased, so it can be put on the other vehicles, but it's part of that package. And you can see you got that center stripe and you get the really nice carbon fiber. And then you still have all your great controls on the steering wheel that you'll see um, on pretty much any of the M series and our regular production models. And you got the great big gauges there, easy to read when you're having fun. And then the driver's door, Trish, yeah, what do we got over there? It's like just mirrors and... Um, we have a lot going on over here. Yeah. It's very sleek looking. We have the speakers here, your door controls, some more carbon fiber. Cell phone. Cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a bunch of buttons over there on the side, guys. As you can see, lane departure warning, active driving assisted, blind spot, all that good stuff's over there. We've got them all activated. we got the lights on right now, but you flip them to the left and they'll go to automatic. Yep. Got that. And then we'll get into the heads-up display in a little bit, guys, but there's your navigation system. It's a 10.2-inch screen, got a 20-gig hard drive for downloading. And let's put on our seat belts so we don't get the traditional. Oh, yeah, and there's the Bang & Olsen up and down the tweeter so you know when it's on and off. I'll let Trish drive us downstairs. <laughs> she likes this part of the uh, video. <laughs> get to take it for a spin. Now, I've driven pretty much every BMW model that you can think of and this vehicle is by far superb over them all and you can feel right away when you take off just the ease in the steering wheel, the power behind the motor, it's absolutely flawless. Oh, that's good to hear. There isn't anything better to drive out there. Also one that's really neat guys is the way this console comes down to the center so your dash connects with the um, console system here and you can see you've got lots of storage in here place to plug in the phone for charging got all our 
controls here, dual climate control. We do have the cooling or ventilated seats here, obviously heated seats on the outside. Your shortcut buttons, one through eight, you can send them for addresses, phone numbers, obviously radio stations. This car is a looker. You're not going to be able to drive on the road in this thing without being noticed. And that's, that's a great thing. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to be a conversation piece. I guess it's, you know, it's one thing you're always going to have something to talk about. So we're heading downstairs to our lower garage. It's always nice. We got somewhere dark to take the car and have some fun with the exhaust. But I wanted to show you a cool feature in the uh, heads up display. So we're just going to head down here. Trish is going to let me out. We'll do another rev time and then I'm going to show you something. So I'm going to jump out. Let's do that. Okay. We'll have Trish come on down. Did you guys see? We got a lot of nice storage down here, guys. The complex is over 230,000 square feet. We got six levels total. There's your full adaptive LED headlights. Even that color's glowing down here, huh? <laughs> Man, that's nice. So we'll have Trish do a little bit of rev time down here. Just love doing that in the parking garages. <laughs> All right, Trish. Yeah, let me jump out. Just wanted to show them some of the cabin in here. And then, guys, your M1 and M2 is a really cool setup. And that's what you've got him. So you can really, you have a bunch of different settings where you can modify the car and put it com completely into race car mode if you want, or maybe more of a kicked back option. But I want you to watch that heads up display as you can see it floating out there, but as soon as I push it, boom. There is your full RPM range there in your shift sections, give you the proper and most, or I guess you'd say the best time to shift. But you can definitely see that thing, so very, very cool. Man, that sounds great down here. Give you a little more shot of the interior down here. Kind of more of a night view, but you can really see that yellow stitching really pop out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you're looking for a car, please send me an email. All right, let me give you a shot on the outside. Cool, come up front. Thanks guys for watching. Bye Trish.